Good afternoon to each of you present today. I'd like to thank the Parramatta City Library for having me at their new Australian Stories, Language, Identity and Culture exhibit as one of their young ambassadors. Today I'm here to talk about how we as individuals can learn about how language is able to empower, yet also marginalise cultural identity. This is shown through the poems Home by Miriam Weiwei Lo and This Is Where It Begins by Melinda Bobbis. Through home, themes of religion have been evident and the poem shows how religion impacts one's self-identity and perspective of a home. Whilst through This Is Where It Begins, we see the relationship between language, identity and culture and is shown evidence of intergenerational connections and storytelling. The intergenerational connections relate to an item I've decided to bring with me today. A photo of my great-grandmother, Dora Leachie, whose name my family gave me as a nickname as a kid. Dora and I are said to have looked alike when she was younger. Through the poems I've selected, I hope to give you, the audience, a better understanding of today's exhibit. Through Miriam Weiwei Lo's philosophical poem, Home, we as the audience are shown how she explores and represents complex ideas about identity and how religion can impact our identity and our perspective of a home. Through the speaker's choice of separating the poem into three sections, she has showcased three ways she views home and shows how her identity connects to home. Firstly, she has the idolised way she views home, then the religious way she views home, and finally the domestic and realistic way she views home. The second section of the poem particularly shows the audience how strong her connection between her identity, religion and home is. The constant references in this section of the poem confirm that she is talking about religion. The author says, like a nail in me, which alludes to the crucifixion of Christ. Another reference to religion is seen in an image so bright and complete. This is an oxymoron that relates to faith. We cannot physically see faith and religion. Someone is at work at me, shows her strong connection between her home and religion and how this makes her who she is and how this has shaped her identity. God has shaped who she is today. One language technique used throughout this section of the poem is metaphors. These are used to express the author's faith. For example, where every word is a radiant arrival and a dream that outlives reality. Therefore, through Miriam's choice to separate the poem into three sections, we see how she explores and represents complex ideas about identity through her poem, Home. This poem connects to my image because it reminds me of my cultural identity and where I have come from. To continue through the poem, This Is Where It Begins by Melinda Bobbis, we are given an insight into the relationship between language, identity and culture. This can be seen through the author's choice of writing the opening stanza in three different languages. These languages being Biko, Filipino and English, and the repetition of Once Upon a Time. This shows intergenerational connections to the author's identity and culture because she uses these languages to connect with like beings who also grew up surrounded by these cultures. The repetition of Once Upon a Time emphasises the importance of storytelling and shows how important storytelling is to staying in touch with your culture in order to have an identity. Themes of storytelling are also evident in the constant references to sensory imagery. For example, story, word, gesture. Story meaning eyes, word meaning lips, and gesture meaning hands. This is also seen when Bobbis concludes the poem with eyes, lips, hands conjoined, the umbilical cord restored. This metaphor is telling us that storytelling directly connects us to our ancestors. Storytelling creates intergenerational connections. The themes of intergenerational connections through This Is Where It Begins relate to my image of my great-grandmother as intergenerational connections are also present between her and I through the name we share. Through the repetition of Once Upon a Time, the author's creative choice of writing the opening stanza in three languages, as well as themes of intergenerational connections and storytelling, the audience can closer see how language, identity and culture intertwine. To wrap things up today, Home by Miriam Weiwei Lo and This Is Where It Begins by Melinda Bobbis are overflowing with themes of intergenerational connections, storytelling and the use of language to express one's culture and identity. It is evident that our ancestors, our faith and storytelling have an immense impact 
on how we perceive ourselves. We as the audience are often able to relate our real life experiences back to these poems and make connections between the poems and our culture and identity. I myself am able to relate to these poems as it seems that both the authors and myself must credit a lot of the way others perceive us and how we perceive ourselves to our ancestors. I'd like to finish off this afternoon by once again thanking the Parramatta Library for having me here at their exhibit. Thank you.